And we all love our adoption of our after stories. And here to share a very heartwarming happy tale is our pet rescue expert, Larissa. Hey, Larissa. Hi, yes, we are now at 697 animals. Oh, so close. So, so, Keep going. so close, so close. But so far, there's still so many that we're still working that's right, towards. That's but right, that's right. I have one here, very, very exciting. This is Ivan, and this is Ivan's new dad, Scott. And oh. Ivan came from Pibbles Paws Safe Haven okay. in Pennsylvania. You may remember we showed him a little while ago. And, you know, he had been in a home and he had been turned over to a shelter because he didn't get along with the house cat. And the owners wanted to put him down. Oh, my goodness. Luckily, Luckily, he sat in a shelter for a while and then Pibbles Paws came in and rescued him out. And that's where I will leave the story to our guest. Just, just, <laughs> what, what led you to adopting Ivan? Well, actually, I was uh, homesick one day from work and watching Home and Family. And oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Absolutely. And um, he showed up on the TV and I was like, that's that's just like the perfect dog. I loved how he was playing around and that type of stuff. So I quickly wrote down the um, address and sent, you know, contacted Pibbles and they sent me an application. I filled it out and about a day later, I, they called on my references. I got calls from references first, you know, saying, we just got this call from this organization. <laughs> um, but anyways, we, uh, we, all of a sudden I got the phone call and he's yours. And they're like, where do you want us to ship him to? And I'm like, what? <laughs> Oh. I'm like, where is he? And they're like, he's in, you know, Philadelphia. And I was oh like, my goodness. I'm like, I thought he was in LA because <laughs> Oh my goodness. Because home and family. Right, she's exactly. I'm thinking sure. I can Oops. drive to Cal you know, anywhere in California to get him. So um, I contacted the airlines and they wouldn't nobody would uh, ship him out at all, period, because of his breed. Oh, uh, that's oh, awful. So I'm sorry. Initially I was kind of like, I can't do this because of work and you know, taking the time off. And right. So i work was very, very uh, accommodating. They actually ended up, you know, saying, Okay, go for it. Um, and booked the flights, and then fl um, flew out there, and then drove him back. You oh see, my goodness, so. you see, everybody loves a rescue story. It's yeah. it's your, you, even your work amazing. helped you make it happen oh, for yeah. sure. Absolutely. So now yeah. you've uh, you've been home for a little bit um, with your new addition here, and how is it? How is the adjustment to having it's, everybody in the house? You know, together? it's you know, there's always that big adjustment, um, not really knowing because um, I you know I thought he was more American bulldog than his mix. So you didn't even know who was a pit until you got no, there. Actually, not until I actually when I was sitting in the hotel room two days later looking at all his paperwork <laughs> and it says it said pit bull mix, and I was like. Okay, so um, <laughs> yeah, so I, you know, I wasn't too sure because again, you know, the stories regarding pit bulls, I've always, you know, it's that that misnomer on there. So yeah, yes. I mean, they, yes. they have such bad reputations, and so much so that they won't even airlines won't fly them. Right. Mm. Even and you, like you said, you even thought that until obviously, I mean, look at him sitting here yeah. with us. I it know be, he couldn't be less aggressive. He looks he just was, so ferocious. Though, right? right? Look yes. at him. Yes. He's, he heard you yeah. say the airline wouldn't fly him, and look how sad he looks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> have you love... ever felt? Has he ever been aggressive at all no. with you? He has no food aggression. I can actually, you know, take his bone away from him or be, put my hand in his dish. Uh, no toy aggression either so he's very very gentle with that um, all he wants to do is to be loved mm. you know? best. That so. is the best. it is the best and you know it's just another example of you know pit bulls have a stereotype but you yeah. just yeah. unfortunately yeah. we can't get away from it yeah. and pit bulls aren't even a breed itself it's oh, really it's a merger of different bully breeds I so see. it's there they, there's just been so much confusion over the years and look at this look at the love in both of their eyes and you know it it's the, it's you great might go in thinking you want one dog, yeah. and lo and behold, you realize you were destined yeah, for another. Right, you, it was meant to be in a yes. way, right? Yeah. What did you say? How old do we do we know how old? Two and a half. It's only two and a half years old. And I love to see how he's leaning into his new I dad for know. support. And there for this sure. was almost the story that didn't happen because he wasn't doing well in his first home. You thought there was no way you could get to Philadelphia right, from exactly. San Diego. You live in yeah. San Diego area, yes. and then when you realized, you know, he was a breed that you didn't expect, there were so many things lined up against this happening and lo and behold we have another happy I mean if it wasn't story. meant to be but it's true I mean you know oh I think God. a lot of people um, become intimidated by these breeds because they are all muscle yes like he's a very lean very strong dog and he's beautiful but just like just like red who's a doberman <laughs> also people are intimidated by Dobermans. they absolutely well. are oh, but I'm look, sorry I thought you were say just like you you were hitting me on that, and I was like I honestly was but like look at this how picture. did you make that turn I don't yeah, know what you were doing there. Cameron you're lean like the dog <laughs> lean like the dog well I think the dog's a little leaner than <laughs> yes honey we're talking about you Ivan <laughs> I'm sorry Ivan I'm so oh sorry so Gosh, here we go thank you thanks for thank you, Ivan, thank you Larissa thank you. so much for bringing us this story that is awesome. Happy holidays, Scott. I love Scott. hearing that.